Hey everyone, Cynix here, and I know that announcements aren't very fun, but I really did just want to let you guys know that I am doing a Twitch stream every single weekday at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And every single one of these streams is going to be a paint exploration adventure. So in case you don't know what paint exploration is, that is just my term for creating a lot of chaos on the canvas and then trying to harness our unique visual library to come up with something fun out of all that chaos. Now, don't worry if that sounds confusing. I brought you guys a couple time-lapse examples from last week's sessions. Of course, the key to any good paint exploration adventure is to get all that chaos on the canvas as fast as you can. And for this example, I decided to go to MapCrunch, which is a random Google Street View generator, and just take an image from there and just smear it around the canvas. And using this technique, at least I'll know that my palette is roughly cohesive. It'll look somewhat realistic. So if you're having a lot of trouble just coming up with random paint stuff, you can use this technique and it might help your palette just be a little bit easier to work with. Uh, so I had this simple environment with a lake in front of it, but eh, that's kind of boring, right? That's a little too close to the source material. So someone mentioned that they saw a frog in the background. So I thought, hey, maybe I can run with that. And uh, one of the best things about doing this with a live chat is that your influence is greatly appreciated. Obviously, I'm stuck with only having one visual library, my own, so I'll never see all the things you see, and you might never see all the things I see, but if we combine our visual libraries together, we'll come up with way crazier things than I could ever hope to come up with on my own. As you can see here, I wound up with some weird glowy orange creature beaching itself upon an exotic beach. It's what I would like to think Lovecraft would come up with if he wrote books for little kids. So I polished it up just a little bit off stream and this is the finished result. Uh, but let's move on, let's try another one. So for this next paint exploration, I thought it would be fun to try to go back to a really basic idea of what paint exploration is all about. Uh, so I thought I would just quickly digitally paint a rough sky with some clouds in it. And then I asked the chat what they might see in the clouds. And uh, that's a good way to kind of sum up everything that paint exploration is about, to draw some clouds and try to find stuff in the clouds. So of course, the first thing people saw was some kind of naked woman. It's to be expected. It's a Rorschach test of sorts. Everyone sees what's in their heart to some extent. Uh, and someone saw a bird inside this middle cloud, so that was kind of fun. Turned into an awkward chocobo. I realized I couldn't draw a bird off the top of my head very well, which is kind of sad. Those legs, though, not very good. And on this left side, someone mentioned something about a dinosaur, so, you know, we had to run with that best we could. Um, so, yeah, looking up at clouds as a little kid, this is kind of our introduction to how we use our visual library to uh, be creative in the world around us. So if you ever enjoyed doing that as a kid, I think paint exploration is the right thing for you. Uh, so in the bottom right corner, someone said they saw, I forget, like a boy riding a cow or something. I don't know, it's not super exact, uh, but we were having fun with it. And someone said in the negative space, they saw a gorilla. So. So we, now we got a golden gorilla. It's, it's good to try to take a step back and look at both the positive and negative shapes you're looking at because you'll never know when you'll find something completely different. Uh, but anyway, that, that gorilla's face turned into a butt as things tend to do. And now we just got a golden woman floating in a shallow koi pond, it looks like. Um, so you never know which direction a paint exploration is going to go, and that's good. You should just run with it. I certainly don't plan any of these out ahead of time. Uh, so there you go. There's the finished piece once again, touched up a little bit afterwards uh, just to make it a little higher res, a little more presentable. I certainly think this one has a nice color scheme to it. Um, and of course, this one was pretty random with the colors, so sometimes it just works out nicely. 
So that's going to do it for my two examples. Who knows what I'll create tomorrow, but I hope to see some of you guys there. Once again, it's twitch.tv slash design, and it is every weekday at 11 a.m. It's good to have a schedule. It keeps you very focused on the things you like to do. So that's going to do it for the video. Thanks as always for watching and a special thanks to all my patrons and be sure to check out my patreon if you're into maybe these time-lapse videos because i think i'm going to be posting more quick little time-lapse recaps of different paint explorations and stuff like that all right announcement over